G'day guys, um, today I'm going to give you the construction video for um, Battlefield Accessories new paint station. Um, the idea with this is it's a unit that you can carry around, that sits, can sit on your desk or you know, if you go to paint in the lounge room you can take it with you. Each of these is designed for a figure to sit on top, so either you know, some white glue on here, some hot glue or you know, some blue tack, right. and so these will sit on top here. So you can have your figures that you're working on, 16 is probably enough. Across the front here you've got um, the equivalent of one unit from our um, GW paint rack. right? And it's got holes in it so you can stand bottles up either um, on their lids or up the correct way. Um, it'll take um, Vallejo bottles, um, Reaper paints and um, GW paints, pretty much anything that comes in a bottle will fit in there. We've also got a series of holes across the top for you to stand brushes up in um, and also across the bottom there. So uh, stay tuned and uh, watch the video. Okay, so in the kit you get a bunch of sprues that look like this. There are sort of two main components to the screws, the sprues. There's these pieces here, these larger bits, which make up the actual um, main paint stand. And then there are these pieces that look like this, which each of these sections here is going to make a single stand for the figures. When that's finished you'll have six of these so you'll have lots of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to build the main stand first right, and then I'll show you how to build one of those and I'll show you the completed version. Okay, so construction is pretty simple. Have a base, two sides, a top deck, and then these components here, which make up the rack. Now, a couple of things just that you need to have with you. You need to have an old paintbrush, some PVA wood glue. Before we start, just want to make sure that all of these uh, holes have been cut through correctly. All right, so. Just give that a little push to make sure there's no bits and pieces. Right, there we go. Okay, so the way I'm going to build this, I'm going to start with one end piece and basically stack everything up in that piece and slide the other end piece on and push the base in the bottom at the end. Okay, so a bit of PVA glue. I'm just going to run it along those lines there like that and then across here I'm going to take um, this piece here again I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the spikes and then along each of these front spikes and basically what's going to happen is these two pieces are going to lock together like this and stand up. Okay, so what I also want to do here is run a bit of glue along the leading edge of that piece here. So this bit's going to make the paint rack at the bottom. I'm going to have my calling it my the Ready Five rack for paint. There we go, that's locked in place. This one here, again, just checking for height. A little bit of glue on the front. lock it in like that. And then finally the back deck. Okay, 
Now these little teeth are designed to support and to get support off the back of this piece here. Right, they're not so designed so much to be um, really solid connections, they go in at an angle. As you can see, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run glue along this top edge here, here and then I'm going to put the top on. Okay, so I've adjusted the camera up so you can see. Glue along there, grab my top piece. Get the positioning right. This is the best way to do this, always looking down the top because you can see when the pieces are lining. Lock it together, then she's done. One complete rack. Right, base is very straightforward. Glue in the teeth. And the base just slides in like that. And there we have one completed paint stand. It can sometimes be useful, especially on this base here, to run a little bit of masking tape around either end just to hold it in place. Um, this kit's, like as you can see from mine, it's holding together nice and firmly. Um, the other thing you might want to do is to grab a paintbrush and just come in and just clean up any excess glue you've got around here. Okay, so we'll put that aside to dry. Now let's work on the stand. So the stand has two components or two vertical parts to it and three circles. These two pieces interlock, right, so they basically slide together like that. You then have a small circle which locks in on top. Then two circles for the base. The first one has all the spikes in which leaves a final spike sitting out. And then the final circle sits on top. Now this double circle at the bottom allows it to sit in the actual rings at the top here and not fall through, but it also gives you enough stability that when you put it down it's not going to fall over with a figure on top. Okay, so here you go, I'm going to glue it together. And there she goes. So there you have it, a completed paint rack.